Hi there, Lee Griggs Arnold, rendering specialist at Autodesk. Just want to go through lighting and rendering the USD kitchen set asset file. If you go to the USD page in the Arnold Docs, uh, there's a link here, I'll put a link in the description. So you just click on here, it'll take you to the downloads page. You can download the kitchen set asset there. Once you've done that, just unzip the files, make sure the set, kitchen set USD and the assets are in the same folder. And then go to Max and create an Arnold object. Create USD, click in the viewport, and then under path, you can open up the kitchen set USD there. Okay, so if we create an active shade using Arnold, you can see that it's come in as Y up, so we need to rotate it minus 90 degrees in X. Okay. So at the moment we're using default lighting, we want we can change that to go to the rendering environment tab and change the background color to white, which we'll just give us a, an environment map lighting using the sky dome light. And if we go to the slate material editor, create a physical sky there, Arnold physical sky, and just connect that to the environment map. So now the scene's being lit with the physical sky. Can change the azimuth. Change the elevation, of the sun, and I'm going to increase the intensity a bit. So my four. Okay, so we're using GP rendering at the moment in the viewport just to test shading and lighting. Uh, if you're going to be using GP rendering, make sure you're using the latest NVIDIA drivers and the latest version of Max2A. If you're not using the latest version of Max2A, you can download it from the old rendering website. Go to Arnold, then Downloads, and you can download the version there. And if you're not sure which is the latest version, you can always go to the release notes of the docs and you can see that's the latest version at the top there. Okay, so with GPU rendering, we're using camera AA samples only to determine the quality. At default value is set to three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Arnold Render View window. So Arnold, Arnold Render View. So we can start creating some snapshots from the snapshot window here. We need to set up a render, press space or hit on the play icon. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to zoom in a bit. So we see we're getting a lot of noise at the moment from indirect samples. So let's create a snapshot here. That's three samples. I can write a comment there. So we could try increasing the camera AA samples, something like 10. Obviously it's going to take longer to render. And if we go back to the previous snapshot scene, we've improved the noise quite a bit. We're still getting some noise in the indirect lighting. What we can also do is add a Arnold Imager, I've got Denoiser Optics. And I'm going to put the camera AA back down to 3. You see the difference it makes to the speed for rendering. You get very quick feedback using the Denoise Optics filter. Ideal for testing, lighting and shading, so on. Okay, so next we'll try CPU rendering. So go to the System tab, the Render Setup, and under Render Device, choose CPU. And I'm just going to remove the Denoise Optics Imager. So we can see the effects on sampling in the scene. Just close the tab here. Right, so this is the default settings. So we've got camera A samples of three and diffuse is lower two. So typically with interiors, you want to increase the diff number of indirect diffuse samples to clean up the noise in the in indirectly lit areas of the, the room, in the corners here, for example. So I'm gonna create a snapshot and increase the diffuse to something like five. If we zoom in a bit, we can see the indirect lighting is a lot cleaner now, less noise in the in the corners there. If you're not sure where the noise is coming from, you can always create an AOV for the indirect diffuse. So go to the AOVs tab and open up the AOVs manager. 
and then the overlist drag across the indirect. And then if you go to the, the list of AOVs, indirect there. So now we can see the noise is it's mostly from indirect lighting. Put that down to two, you should see it even more. Put that back to beauty. Also got diffuse ray depth to increase the number of diffuse ray bounces in the scene. Should make the scene a lot brighter as we see more light bouncing around the scene. A little bit lighter there. Put that back down to one because it can increase red times. Then finally you're going to talk about the Arnold Denoise and Noise. So the Arnold Noise Denoiser image is also available as a post-processing effect. So you can automatically denoise images every time you render a scene. It's also available in the Denoiser tab, where it enables you to denoise either single frames or complete sequences. And you can see it does a pretty good job cleaning up any noise in the scene. There's more information in the docs about the Arnold Denoiser settings and there's also this tutorial which uh, I recommend having a look through which talks about the optics and the Arnold Denoiser noise for denoising a room interior. I'll put links in the description. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.